You grew up in a culture and an education system as most adults, anyone over 25 Mm -hmm. or even 18, where if you got it wrong, you were humiliated, you were publicly punished, you were mocked, you were... So at no point could you tune in. It was Mm -hmm. never about tuning into your experience. It was always about reading the authority figure and and the education system that was going to punish you if it was a -a Mm whack-a-mole education system so you had to abandon your senses and dull them to survive and the more you did that the more you were rewarded yeah and our world consequently is the mess it is because if we are so dulled that we can't feel that we're polluting our oceans or we are treating people like things to mow down when they don't agree with us, Mm -hmm. something's gone terribly wrong. Mm -hmm. And the only recourse to correct our future is exactly what your son is doing, exactly what I've been teaching, is bring these inner senses back on because then we feel Mm -hmm. what's really happening. True. And when you're in your head, you don't feel it. So I have two follow-up questions. Firstly, when such doubt comes Mm -hmm. and as you try to reactivate your senses Mm -hmm. i'm guessing the doubt will come big time what what is it that you suggest somebody who is in that mode where they're like i want to turn back the senses. i'm opening my jaw and you know i'm focusing my attention what is it it boils down to that this is not a test Mm -hmm. you you simply cannot make it a test because Mm -hmm. a test puts you back in that old system where if you don't pass it you're going to pay a negative consequence it's an exploration it's an Mm -hmm. adventure it's a curiosity we're learning a new experience and we're not going to get it right or wrong Mm -hmm. we're going to uncover a way to wake up our sensitivity so we start there second it's got to be fun yeah. You can't, you're, if, you, if you're trying to check if you're going to be right, you're going to be wrong. I could just tell you psychically, <laughs> you're going to be all wrong because you're in your head. And yeah. your head can't tune. Your brain cannot feel energy. Mm. It can't. They can do surgery on your brain without anesthesia. Mm. It has no feeling frequency. So you mm-hmm. have to get back into the feeling body, play with it, mm. have fun, and then you have to empty the garbage. The garbage is all those doubts, all those fears, all that indoctrination of the consequence if I don't get it right. Mm. So the way to do that is to actually verbally out loud start naming all of your fears, all of your anxieties. I'm afraid I'll be wrong. I'm afraid I'll mess up. I'm afraid I don't have this. I'm afraid this is stupid. I'm afraid I'm afraid that everybody else has it and I don't have it. I'm afraid that I'll be right once and it's, it's random. I'm, you know, just, you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. I call that emptying the garbage. And instead of trying to get it right, there's another door to go through. Mm -hmm. And the door is called, I wonder. The minute you say, just say it right now, I wonder. I wonder. What happens is your eyes go up and did you see something? Yeah, you kind of relax into it. You end up in a place that doesn't have answers. Yeah. I wonder. Yeah. Your ears go up, you're open, and all of a sudden you are available to information, I wonder. The Mm -hmm. mind goes quiet. And that Mm -hmm. invites you into the experience. I Mm. wonder. I wonder which color feels most attractive to me. I wonder Mm -hmm. what these energies are. I wonder if this is gonna be any fun. I wonder if I'm gonna enjoy this. Mm -hmm. And I wonder is the door into safely exploring and reawakening these senses and getting them activated so they work again. Would you say like when we when we are helping somebody rebuild their confidence, one of the things that we mm-hmm. suggest to them is do the small things so you mm-hmm. can build some confidence in your mm-hmm. abilities again, especially mm-hmm. if you have lost a bunch of times trying to do something and mm-hmm. you go, I can't get healthy because you know I've tried 17,000 mm-hmm. diets already. Like, all right, you don't have to try another diet. How about being healthy one day? Mm-hmm. Just like today, just today. Very good. We you do know? learn in bite sizes. Yeah. But I feel that it's very important that we're motivated by love. Mm. Our heart is the engine. When that heart goes, 
mm-hmm. then the lights are out. When the brain mm-hmm. goes, we can still keep chugging along. It's when our mm-hmm. heart goes, our spirit leaves, that's the end of the, the experience and the human reality. So we mm-hmm. have to work from the heart engine. Yeah. So Tell us more about that. Your heart engine is the, the home of your, your spirit, the home of your authentic essence. Mm-hmm. your true identity and it's why you need to listen to it because it it tells the truth which is not sentimentality that's a different brain construct the heart is the part that just keeps you navigating toward what it is that will really allow you to be your best self so the reason people fail to succeed in some of their goals is there's no heart in it. You have to find the heart in the in the small things. Mm-hmm. What's what like say, okay, you want to be healthy. Well, what would you love to be healthy for? Mm-hmm. One little thing that you would love to be healthy for. If it's I want to dance at my daughter's wedding or I want to be able to, I just talked to a woman the other day. I've been coaching a woman for, for two years who has just a, the most debilitating cancer and she's, she's, she's beating it. But we talk every day, what do you want to be healthy for? Because there's so much information that could demoralize you continuing the, the treatment. It's difficult, the daily things. And she says, I want to dance and my granddaughter's wedding. And I said, okay, mm-hmm. that's good. And is she engaged? No, but she's dating someone that I think she's gonna marry, so okay. Mm-hmm. And she, she was given three and a half months to live, and we're now two years into it, going strong. Mm-hmm. So if love is in it, then your life force is in it, because that's your life force, is in your heart. You have the heart to live for something. You say, I don't have the heart for that, you won't succeed. Your mind, it's, it's not mind over matter, it's a heart over matter. And that heart is that informing guide that is the voice of your intuition. It is the source of all these other senses informing you. 